Create your own anything but paintbrush coral reef project. For this piece, you will need paint. Mine's washable, so it's not as pigmented, but it still works. Glue. Sponges. You can use old sponges from around the house. You just have to clean them and you can, go, you can make a lot of creations from it. A Sharpie. Newspaper. A piece of paper. Mine is blue, but you can use whatever color construction paper. And scissors. And just to add on, I had found some glitter, so glitter and a paper plate to put the paint on. First, you're going to take your sponge and you are going to make a pattern of a coral reef, which coral reefs are not by any means perfect, so you don't have to make them anything special. But such like that, just a little squiggly line. Next, you're going to want to cut it with adult supervision because this can be hard to cut, especially mine is um, old, so it's wet. And it's still drying from being older and wet. So you'll just want to get some help with this part, possibly. You'll want to cut pieces. And you can save some of the excess pieces for whatever you want to use it for uh, in the painting, but you can definitely just kind of cut around. And it doesn't have to be, again, perfect. Um, you're just going to want to cut everywhere. And of course, be careful whilst cutting. Next, with this sponge, or any sponge, I'm gonna use this as well, just a plain sponge, to dab some paint on. And I'm gonna use these pieces as well. Next, I'm gonna add the paint. So I picked quite a few colors. I picked orange and yellow and greens and blues, but you can have, use whatever colors you want because this is your creation, and you can make it to be whatever you want it to be. And I picked a lot of fun bright colors so that way you guys can see uh, the painting. Okay, next is your paper. So I had a bigger paper because you're going to want to strengthen it by double layering it as such. And by double layering, I mean folding it. So you're making it stronger and that is what I did with my paper. Next, I'm going to take my sponge, my large sponge, and I'm just going to start taking some of these colors and dabbing a little bit. You're not going to want to circle or mix them, you're just going to want to dab. So that way they're not going to turn brown. And you'll just take it and put it onto the paper and you'll start dabbing around the paper. And you'll just take it and do this. And we'll take some blue to get some blue in there. So if you do mix it, it's okay, but it does turn like a brown color. And that's not what the ocean is really, um, at least not in this picture. You're gonna want it to be blue and green and purple and pretty. So you'll just dab around. In addition to that, you're gonna also want to make your sand. So you're gonna wanna have a sand line. So just an idea of where you're gonna wanna be. The colors will mix, but it's okay. It makes it a little more unique. So you'll just dab, 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 like that. Now, once you kind of have your painting dry, you can um, smear some of it because it will blend the color, but you don't wanna do it right onto the paint because it turns brown. So once you have this all dry and it's ready for the next thing, which would be to add the coral. Some of the coral pieces, I was testing it out on another painting, as you can see by the glitter and the glue. <laughs> um, some of the coral pieces were too big and too heavy, so they felt like fell right off. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna measure it to make sure these are small enough. So this one was a good piece, it actually worked. So what I did is I kinda mapped out where I wanted the pieces, so I will use a, another piece here and another piece here. I'm using very, very thin pieces. You can use one big piece. It shouldn't take out your painting too, too, too much, but um, 
yeah, little pieces. So here, just gonna put them here. And what you're gonna wanna do is take your liquid glue and just kind of like map out where you think you're gonna wanna put it. That's where the mapping helps, deciding where you wanna put the pieces. And you're gonna take the glue and glue it onto here as well. That should reinforce it. It is a lot of glue, but you want it to stick. So you stick the pieces on, like such. And it's okay if the glue comes out a little bit because it will dry clear. So again, this tiny, tiny piece, I'm gonna use tiny, tiny amounts of glue just so I get an idea. And I'll stick it on like this. And I'll just keep doing that for each piece. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take your liquid glue and decorate. So I wrote under the C, but you could write your name or whatever you wanna put into it. And you're gonna start kind of decorating it. Whoops. So I'm gonna put a little squiggle here. and we'll make it into a squiggle here. Like so little bubbles or whatever you wanna draw in fish. If you are good at, um, good at this, I'm not. But if you're good at making fish, you can make a fish. So now, once your sponges are dry and you got this, you can use glitter and you're gonna wanna put it all over. My sponges are not necessarily still dry yet, but you're gonna to wanna to be careful when you're doing this next part. Once you have it covered in glitter, you're gonna take it and just dust it off. I'm being extra careful because my sponges will fly off. <laughs> As you can see, they're not, uh, they're not quite dry yet. <laughs> and you might have to make some adjustments here and there with the glitter. And there you go. And you're just gonna wanna let it dry. And that is a coral painting, a coral reef painting.